Publius Elius Trianus Hadrianus Augustus, commonly known as Hadrian, was born on January 24, 76 in Rome or Italica. He was the Roman emperor from 117 to 138 and is widely recognized for his contributions to the expansion and preservation of the Roman Empire. Under Hadrian's leadership, the Roman Empire reached its zenith, expanding from the border of Caledonia in Scotland to the border of the Parthian Empire in the Middle East. He is credited with the construction of Hadrian's Wall, which consolidated Britannia's northern frontier and protected the province from Pictish invasions. Additionally, Hadrian was responsible for the rebuilding of the Pantheon and the construction of the Temple of Venus and Roma in Rome. Hadrian was the third of five adoptive emperors, and his predecessor Trajan was a maternal cousin of Hadrian's father. Trajan never officially designated a successor, but before his death, he designated Hadrian as emperor according to his wife Pompeii Plotina. It is believed that Trajan's wife and his friend Licinius Sura played a significant role in Hadrian's appointment. Hadrian was known for his wisdom and peaceful rule. He returned three provinces, Armenia, Mesopotamia, and Assyria, conquered by his predecessor Trajan to their original population. He recognized that preserving and maintaining new areas only cost the Roman treasury an unnecessary amount of money, so he resolutely decided to refrain from further expansion of the Roman Empire. Even anti-Romans, such as the Jews, praised Hadrian for capitalizing on reconciliation between Jews and Alexandrian Greeks after a bloody Jewish revolt. Throughout his reign, Hadrian traveled to almost every province of the empire. He was a Philhellenist and wanted to make Athens the cultural capital of the empire. He spent a great deal of time with the military and even ate and slept with the soldiers. He ordered military training to be more rigorous and used false attack reports to keep his army on the alert. Later in his reign, he suppressed the Bar Kochba revolt in Judea and renamed it Syria-Palestina province. In 136, an ailing Hadrian adopted Lucius Elius as his successor, but he died suddenly two years later. In 138, Hadrian decided to adopt Antoninus Pius on the condition that he, in turn, would adopt Marcus Aurelius and Elius' son Lucius Verus as his possible successors. Antoninus agreed, and shortly thereafter, Hadrian died at Baiae. Hadrian hailed from a family of Roman descent that settled in Italica, located in the province of Hispania Ulterior in the southern region of the Iberian Peninsula, during the Republican era as a result of Roman expansion. Although the author of Hadrian's biography in the Historia Augusta remains anonymous, the individual utilized material from Hadrian's lost autobiography to indicate that the family's roots traced back to Hadria or Hatria in the Middle Italian Picenum. The city's name lent itself to Hadrian's moniker, Hadrianus, and the Adriatic Sea. Betica, where Hadrian grew up, was known for its abundant mineral resources and cultivation of grains, grapes, and olives. The province's production of olive oil, wine, and garum, a characteristic fish sauce used in Roman cuisine, was exported to Rome. The Ulpii of Trajan, the Elii of Hadrian, and the Anni of Marcus Aurelius were some of the wealthy and influential families that formed a larger Hispanic network that pursued positions of power in Rome through marriage alliances, which persisted from the 1st to the 2nd centuries despite competition from other coalitions. Born in 76 AD, Hadrianus was the son of Publius Elius Hadrianus Afer, a senator and ex praetor, and it is uncertain whether he was born in Rome or Italica. There is little information about his childhood, but his pronounced love for Greek culture suggests that his father may have taken him to Greece during his proconsulate of the province of Achaea. Hadrian's affinity for Greek culture earned him the nickname Greekulus. When he was ten years old in AD 86, his father passed away and he was placed under the guardianship of his great-uncle, the future Emperor Trajan, as well as Publius Acilius Attianus, a knight from Italica. Upon reaching adulthood, Hadrian visited his family's estates in Italica at the age of 14, where he underwent basic military training and learned about managing the family properties. However, his enthusiasm for hunting caused Trajan to recall him to Rome. At the age of 18 in AD 94, Hadrian was appointed to the Decemviri Slitibus Udicandis, a supervisory body at the court, as part of his path to becoming a senator. 
Inscriptions indicate that he held two positions en route to his senatorial career. He served as a military tribune with Legio II Adeutrix in Aquincum, where he met Quintus Marcius Turbo, then with Legio V Macedonica in the province of Moesia Inferior. In autumn of 97, Trajan, the guardian of Hadrian, was adopted by Emperor Nerva under pressure from the Praetorian Guard. As a result, Hadrian was sent on a mission to congratulate Trajan's legion in the Rhine, where Trajan was stationed. Trajan became the heir to the throne and Hadrian's status rose significantly. However, Trajan did not want Hadrian near him and instead assigned him to Mogontiacum with Legio XXII Primogenia, giving him a third military tribunate. This caused tension between Hadrian and his brother-in-law, Lucius Julius Ursusus Servianus, who was the newly appointed governor of the province of Germania Superior and vied for Trajan's favour. When Emperor Nerva died in January 98, Trajan succeeded him as emperor. Despite this, the rivalry between Hadrian and Servian persisted. Hadrian rushed to inform Trajan of the news in person, traveling from Mogontiacum to Colonia Claudia Aorae Agrippinensium in Germania Inferior. Hadrian's relationship with the imperial family strengthened in AD 100 when Pompeii Plotina, Trajan's wife, arranged for him to marry Vibia Sabina, Trajan's grandniece, who was just 14 years old at the time. Hadrian was 24 years old when they married. In the same year, Hadrian took on the role of Questa Augusti, which gave him access to the Senate and the privileged position of reading the emperor's speeches. In the campaign against Decebalus, king of Dacia, Hadrian served as Cums Augusti on the emperor's staff in 101. Presumably in 102, he became tribune of the people and in 105, he became praetor. Trajan generously provided him with funds to pay for the associated games. In June of 105, Hadrian participated in the Second Dacian War under the leadership of Trajan, serving as the commander of Legio I Minor Via. As a result of his military achievements, Trajan bestowed upon him a precious diamond, which Trajan himself had received from Emperor Nerva. Hadrian was then appointed as the governor of Lower Pannonia where he was tasked with protecting the region from the Jazygen threat. At the youthful age of 32, Hadrian was appointed as the consul suffectus in AD 108. When Emperor Trajan passed away in 117, his wife Plotina may have tampered with his deathbed adoption of Hadrian, thereby ensuring his succession to the throne. While the legitimacy of the adoption was called into question by many, no one challenged it. Hadrian's rise to power may have already been in motion during Trajan's reign. From 105 to 108, Trajan favoured Hadrian, as evidenced by his engagement to Trajan's great-niece, Vibia Sabina, as well as his appointment to the positions of Questa Imperatoris and Cums Augusti. Trajan also presented Hadrian with Nerva's diamond and introduced him as the consul suffectus, among other honours. Hadrian was the only direct male relative of Trajan, but the support of Plotina and Lucius Licinius Sura, who died in 108, was crucial to Hadrian's eventual succession. Atianus, Hadrian's guardian, eliminated his enemies including Celsus, Parma, Gaius Avidius Nigrinus, and Lucius Quietus in quick succession, causing the Senate to turn against him. The new emperor had to address the aftermath of the Quito's War, a Jewish rebellion that engulfed much of the Eastern Empire. Shortly after his ascension, Romanization peaked in Europe. Hadrian consolidated his power by reducing the Senate's influence and appointing a large personal staff. He eliminated troublemakers and aimed to create laws that would apply uniformly throughout the Roman Empire. In 130, he tasked the jurist Publius Salvius Julianus with consolidating the Praetorian Edicts into the Edictum Perpetuum, a comprehensive legal code. Rather than expanding the empire, Hadrian focused on internal fortification and consolidation. He closed border territories and withdrew troops from conflict zones. He also improved the existing infrastructure and granted tax amnesty to tax evaders. To maintain order, he suppressed dissent and lowered taxes to pacify the populace. As a project manager inspector and soldier, the emperor frequently traveled to inspect his generals, and along the way, he established numerous cities, including Hadrianapolis in Thrace, and constructed various public structures like thermal baths. 
during his visit to Germania Inferior in 121 or 122, he even granted market rights to the settlement of Canaan Fates, which he renamed Forum Hadriani in his honor, and it thrived as a market town well into the 3rd century. However, in Jerusalem, he sought to suppress Judaism, and one of his measures included outlawing circumcision. He also founded a new Roman colony on the ruins of Jerusalem and brutally quashed the Jewish resistance led by Bar Kokhba, which culminated in the Bar Kokhba revolt from 132 to 136. The Romans suffered significant losses, and to accomplish this objective, they deployed a dozen legions. Many Jews either perished in the desert or fled, marking the beginning of a new phase in the Jewish diaspora. Consequently, the province of Judea was abolished in 135, and the regions of Syria and Judea merged under the name of Syria-Palestina. During 125, Hadrian commissioned the reconstruction of the Pantheon, which had been destroyed in a fire over 40 years prior. In addition to this, Hadrian also designed the Temple of Venus and Roma, another significant building in the capital. Furthermore, between 126 and 134, he oversaw the construction of Villa Hadriani, a pleasure garden located in Tibur. Since the inception of the Roman Empire, the emperors had erected lines of fortified defense to protect against barbarian invasions in conquered territories. These lines of defense, known as limes, were established in North Africa, Syria, Dacia, Germany, the Netherlands, and England, among others. However, following the Roman defeat in the Teutoburg Forest in 9, the Romans lost interest in Germania. The construction of the limes began in 83, between the Rhine and Danube, and was fortified with at least 1,000 watchtowers and hundreds of fortresses, spanning over 550 kilometers from Rheinbroll to the Regensburg area. In 122, Hadrian further fortified the limes in Germania, and his successor, Antoninus Pius, extended it towards the east in 160. In 122, Hadrian authorized the construction of the Vaulum Hadriani, also known as the Hadrian Wall or Pict Wall, in northern Britannia as a defense against Pictish and Scottish attacks. The wall spans around 117 kilometers from Tynemouth at the Tynes Mouth, passing through Newcastle, to Solway Firth near Carlisle on the west coast. The Caledonian frontier was fortified with three lines of defense, including a stone wall with a moat, a rampart with a moat, and 17 forts, castles, and watchtowers. Recently, archaeologists have discovered a large Roman building at Vindolanda that is believed to have been Hadrian's personal headquarters. During Hadrian's reign and his successors, Roman coin portraiture reached its pinnacle. Under the Julia Claudian dynasty and Vespasian, the emperor was deified, and the portrait was idealized. However, after Trajan, there was a shift towards realism. It is possible that Hadrian's interest in Greece and his extensive travels influenced this change. Hadrian had a profound appreciation for Greek culture, which began during his education in Rome. He preferred to speak Greek over Latin and was well versed in Greek philosophy. He also adopted the Greek custom of keeping a beard, breaking with centuries of Roman fashion. During his travels, he was accompanied by his Eromanos, Antinous, a Greek boy renowned for his beauty. After Antinous's death, Hadrian even proclaimed him a god. Boristhenes was the renowned horse of Hadrian, which he immortalized in a preserved epitaph on a grave located in southern France. Despite being married, Hadrian did not have any children of his own. In 136, he adopted Lucius Sionus Commodus as his successor and son, which disappointed his brother-in-law and ex-consul Lucius Julius Ursus Servianus. Servianus had hoped that his grandson and Hadrian's great-nephew, Nius Pidanius Fuscus Salinator, would become the chosen one. However, Servianus and Fuscus were compelled to commit suicide. Commodus, also known as Lucius Aelius Verus Caesar, had poor health and died around New Year 138. Hadrian likely intended to secure succession for two generations by choosing Commodus because his daughter was engaged to a 15-year-old favorite named Marcus Annius Verus, who later became Marcus Aurelius. After Commodus passed away, Hadrian replaced him with the esteemed senator Antoninus Pius, whom he asked to adopt Lucius Verus and Marcus Aurelius, 
his future son-in-law. As a result, Hadrian secured his succession with two good emperors, Antoninus Pius and Marcus Aurelius. Hadrian died in his villa at Baiae and was initially buried in Pozzuoli. Later, he was reburied in the gardens of Domitia, close to his unfinished mausoleum. Once his funerary monument, Castel Sant'Angelo in Rome, was completed, his successor Antoninus Pius cremated him and interred him with the ashes of his wife Vibia Sabina and his adoptive son Lucius Elius. In 139, the Senate approved Antoninus Pius's proposal to include Hadrian among the gods, despite the Senate's opposition to Hadrian, whose authority he had reduced. Hadrian's decrees were promptly reversed, and Rome returned to the Roma Imperat principle. In 145, Hadrianus's temple was erected on the Campus Martius in Rome, and its columns are still visible, bricked into a wall. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel.